Hey guys, good to have you all back and welcome to my favorite project that I've done over the past 12 months. It is not a Gretchen, a Gunter or a Gunter B, but it's actually something that they all have in common. All of these three projects have one of the project that I'm going to do today. So let me tell you what it is and how this came about. Now, when I made these, I did not come up with uh, the concept Gretchen or Gunter. Um, these were actually all three of them file folder projects just to show you what you could do with file folders Now this was the first one and I my intention was to make a, a small sort of field notes journal um, And with this one, I wanted to make a bigger more grungy sort of travel journal um, The last one actually I sort of knew what I was going to do and how so with this one I cheated a little bit so how did Gretchen become a Gretchen? Well, let me show you. I made a journal, did a little bit of decorating and such. And then on the first page, I made a this. And this is actually my very first identity card, my first ID card. It had the name, I did not write it on here. This is uh, one of the Tim Holtz photo booth or photomatic something, something photo. Uh, had Gretchen on it. So this is how Gretchen was born. So this is actually her, you know, journal. Now, when I made Gunter, um, I did not set out to make a Gunter. No, I just wanted to make a, a journal. Did not think about Gretchen at all. And then when I came to the, well, maybe the very first project, I was thinking, oh yeah, it needs a sort of an identity card. So then, Gunter came about. Now, there's also a Gunter B. Let me, if you don't know the story, I'm going to share the story with you guys. I did a poll on um, on YouTube. Had two pictures, Gunter A, Gunter B. going to show you Gunter B. Uh, and I let you guys decide which Gunter was going to be, well, the, the person that this uh, journal belongs to. So I made another ID card. Yeah, and then I had uh, Gunter B left because all of you guys, well, some of you guys who voted Gunter B were like, no, we need Gunter B. Let me, I'm, I'm, where is he actually? <laughs> He's somewhere in here. This is Gunter B in his, you know, later days, in his prime. Um, where's Gunter? There's Gunter, but that was not the Gunter that I was using. Here it is. Here's Gunter. Here's Gunter B. So another sort of ID card. Yeah, that I've made. And I've made several others um, during this past year. And I absolutely love the process. So, yes, um, my number one spot is actually ID cards. So I'm going to make some. I'm going, going to take out everything. Um, yeah, I'm pulling out all the stops. Taking out lovely, uh, beautiful vintage uh, pieces, stamps and hardware. The works. Let me show you what I'm going to use for today's project. So what am I using? Well, I have some very interesting pieces. These are all sort of vintage uh, ephemera pieces um, that can be made into an identity card. This actually came from a bookstore or something in Rotterdam. Yeah, it has all these lines and you can stamp on here. Then this came from a bank. This isn't that old, but I think 80s for sure. Uh, look at all the numbers on here. I don't know how I'm really going to use it, but you know, I could use this. Then I have two of these. I actually don't really know what this is about. Probably from a factory or something. This is old because this is says 1966 up until 1972. So older. Not antique, guys. Just older. I did not find any date on here. Or, well, there are lots of numbers on here, but nothing seems to make a date. 81, I don't know. Guys, I don't know. But these cards, this will have a fantastic spot for, for a photograph, right? I'm going to use these card to make, uh, cards to make um, the identity cards. Now, for the other papers, I need, a, I need a person. So I have this with some smaller pictures. This is um, Photo Booth. And then this is probably Photomatic. I keep getting these two mixed up, guys. Yes, Photomatic. So Photomatic has the the two uh, slightly bigger ones. Actually, Gretchen and Gunter came from Photomatic. And this is Photo Booth. And this will probably work better on a smaller project. So I'm going to pick out some 
lovely persons. Um, I am using a couple of pieces, ephemera pieces. This is snippets, yes, from Mr. Tim Holtz. And these are the smaller items from the palette uh, pack from Mr. Tim Holtz. Of course, I'm going to use labels. I have some labels, some blank ones, because I want to do a lot of stamping. Uh, yes, I still have inky fingers from the previous project, guys. I've tried everything. Uh, soap and water, hand sanitizer, alcohol. It doesn't want to go up. <laughs> I'm going to use some post stamps. post stamps. Uh, I'll probably want to make some tabs. Now, the tabs I'm going to make from this craft colored, uh, the craft cardstock that you can sand down. And then this um, uh, sort of uh, color appears. I love it. Love it. That's it for paper. For, well, I'm going to be stamping a lot. Yes, guess what? Yes, I'm going to do signatures from the past. Because I have not tried these out before. Signatures from the past. Dates from the past. I also took out um, Katie Holden's sign here and something, um, something writing or what was this called? Well, something else. <laughs> I cannot come up with the name. Should have a name on here. No. Well, one was sign here and the other one was not. And the other one wasn't. Um, four tools, glue, scissors, ruler, knife. I'm going to use my uh, sanding disc, but guys, you, if you're going to use it, you can use an emery board. I'm going to be uh, punching holes. I'm going to make tabs. I have some lovely hardware. I have these vintage sort of clips uh, that came with company logos on them. I might use some of this. Uh, eyelets, brads. I have taken out my small tin with Tim Holtz. These clips? That's not a clip. <laughs> I have no clue what that was. These small clips. Yeah, or tiny paper clips or safety pins. Something small. Inking, grunching. I'm going to use my grunge up tool. Don't need this, guys. Scissors will do. The trick and you know what else whatever else i can come up with yeah um maybe some uh ribbon or seam binding or fabric something a something a something okay uh is that it yes now i'm going to go uh pick out a couple of people i'm gonna do that off camera guys because this will take me a while because i am indecisive when it comes to picking people so i'm going to pick out four of them because i have four cards and let's see how many we can make I found my people. Yes. So I have all of these lovelies. I'm going to start with the smallest one. This one. There you go. Oh my gosh. These nails, guys. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have her here. Funny enough, there's something on the back. But the back is just upside down. I have no clue why this is. But that's quite all right. So I'm going to have her here. First, I'm going to cut her out. And um, make it look a little bit more aged. So I'm going to distress it. There we go. Sort of rounded corners. Okay, distress tool. Where are you? Yep. I'm going to rough it up a little bit everywhere. Color am I using for this one? Oh yeah, that looks lovely. Um, I'm thinking round espresso. There we go. There we go. Roughing up these edges. I'm going to do all over here. For sure. Do you want to rough this one up as well? Love? Yes, yes, let's, let's. Let me show you how we do it with scissors, guys. Just take out your scissors and then do this. Works just as easy. If not easier. Well, uh, you have to be a little bit careful if you do this, guys. Because you could just totally rip it. So... Be careful if you do this. If you use a tool like this, it will not rip as easy. I'm going to take off 
just this bit. Oh, that looks amazing. And there we go, ID card. Oh, we don't have a name. I don't have a name for her yet. Let's find out. Um, I'm going to have her on here with small eyelets. Do you want to use small eyelets too? Small brads. Small eyelets. Just small ones. Tiny gold ones. Just gonna use two. That's a way bigger one, love. A tiny gold one. Yeah? I might also think I might want to add something here. A bigger eyelet here and then pulls. Yes. I'm not gonna use the eyelets on, on her. I'm gonna use it on one of the other people. But what are we using on her? Maybe oh maybe one of these clips. Now these are not antique companies, <laughs> and some of them I oh that that looks that looks awesome. Some of the companies still exist, some don't. There's a carbonel in here that will make lovely olive oil and pasta sauce. Oh yeah, that is cool. Do you want to clip her? Can we do this? No, it will cover up her face. So we need to put it somewhere else. But I really want to use this clip. Now, it would have been lovely if I sort of alcohol inked this thing to make it look a little bit older. But I didn't. But I didn't. Okay. Uh, I want something behind her. I'm just going to take out my snippets. Oh, Manchester University. Let's just say this is a card for Manchester University. Yep, for sure. Do you know what I love about this project? You can you can come up with a complete story with this. Um, apparently, I am sort of a storyteller. <laughs> I am sort of a storyteller. I do want to have something stamped here, guys. I looked up the the stand, the other stand tab from Spellbite. This is reading matter and sign here and sign here. However, I am going to use my new ones. Yes. Uh, her name is going to be Sylvia. There are signatures on here, guys. Um, where was Sylvia? Sylvia was somewhere. Hello, uh, John. Mm -hmm. Sylvia. Sylvia White. Oh, here. Here she is. But I need a small thing here on the bottom. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. small on the bottom that says case oh case file yeah for stamping of course I'm using um, fallen leaves because that is just the best color to stamp with ever in my opinion case file love it yes and this is gonna go here, and then this is gonna go. I'm not wanna do not want to cover up Manchester University. Yeah. Well, apparently Sylvia something, Sylvia something uh, was studying at Manchester University. There we go. Do we want something on the top as well? This or this? There you go, Sylvia. At one point, you might even have your own journal. Who knows? Who knows? They don't have this on here somewhere. I'm going to figure it out. Yep. 
Um, Sylvia. Is this Sylvia? Shall we have her signature on the top? So it actually says writer. So Sylvia is a writer at Manchester University. Oh, why did I put this in here? <laughs> no worries, it was brown. So Sylvia White. Fantastic. Oh, I love them so what much. The, it needs a number. Does it have a number on here? It does. 34, 11, 69. I don't think I want these numbers. I think I want a more sort of modern type number. None of which will be on here. So I'm taking out this because this has lots of numbers. Number one, three, one, four, three. Yeah. Bergplaats. It's like, where is it filed? <laughs> Nobody knows. Where is it filed? It is filed at GRN 4.98. That's where it's filed. I have no clue what that means, guys. It might mean something, but not to me, it does. And then we need a sort of another number. We had one, four, three. Number 12 and a half. There you go. Oh, we're making our own. We're making our own. Now, what is on here? This says postcard approved. Oh, approved. Oh, identification. Identification. Does it fit? It does. This was with the other set. Did not put enough ink on but i think that is actually nice yes because now it looks more see grungy so that is what we like i want a circular one but this says male do we have something else that has a circle that doesn't say male no so well I'm gonna, then i'm going to use this one Yeah. Oh, cool. I already love it. Already love it. Is there anything on here? Oh, this actually says signature. I could have put that here, but I didn't. But I didn't. Uh, what else can I have on here? Filed. Received. Case file. What was the other one? Oops. Telegram. Notes. Publisher and booksellers. That is actually cool because um, this came from a publisher and <laughs> bookseller. Oh, copyright. Do you want to do copyright or important? Oh, uh, place stamp here. Does that fit? It doesn't. Hmm. <laughs> doesn't. Paid, cash. Buchanan Street. I don't know. Is there a Buchanan Street, guys, in Manchester? Let me know. Probably not. One more number. And then I'm pleased. <laughs> Just one more number. Um, 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 um. Don't have it upside down. Have it like so. Do we want a different color? <laughs> Let's do a different color. Uh, well, red, of course. Mm. 
there was already some red ink on here. So. Oh, that just made a di made the difference, all the difference, didn't it? Yeah, really cool. I want some either splattering or or coffee um, sort of staining on it. Shall we do coffee? We're gonna do coffee. Before I do the coffee, I really like there, that there's a red thing on here, but it needs a little bit more red. So I've taken out this stamp. This stamp actually is from pinkyelephant.com. Well, it is from the shop, Pinky Elephant. And I've used it only once. And there's some lovely small stuff on here. And I have something underneath, guys. I'm just going to do with this. There you go. Oh, yes. You know, it's not completely stamped, but that's actually quite all right with it. Oh, I'm going to have this number as well. Where's my red? Something here in the corner. I actually don't want this. Yes, now my fingers are red. See? Just, you know, I don't know what it is red that's what it is okay now for coffee and i also want to add these two i've used my dymo rotary whatever uh to make some of these labels guys because i have black now and i really like the black so apparently sylvia loves coffee and then this happened um vintage photo i'm not gonna do dark coffee coffee with lots of cream Yeah, oh, it makes all the difference. I love it so much. Okay, there you go, Sylvia. I think I want a little bit more distress in here. Yes, I have this number. I think I want to have this here, just on the top here. could put something there or can we put it over the number but then we're gonna cover up what's underneath oh actually I don't mind this yeah I think it's pretty cool then we can have this number here lots of numbers on here I know I know but I really like it or maybe more no, there. What I try to do, guys, because this is completely new tape, I try, try to sort of, you know, crumple it a little bit and then did this to the edges. See if I can sort of try to age it up. There should be a line here that I can rip it. But with these nails, no. I know I should stop doing the nails and the problem is uh, when you stop doing the nails your nails would look rubbish nobody told me this but hey it'll be fine there we go it's just so so cool so cool oh now I smudged the red over it but <laughs> that's actually Fantastic. Uh, there was probably some on, on my thumb. Yeah. Oh, I really like it. Is it done? Is it? Do you want a little bit more? Just looks too new. Too new-ish. One splatter. Guys, just one splatter. Okay, two. Or maybe four. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. Love it. Let's make another one. Next one, this fellow. Don't know what he's called yet. Let's find out what signatures I have. I already sort of aged him up a little bit. Now, guys, this is a rather large card. I think it would look nicer if it was just smaller, right? So, yeah, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut it off here. Um, I'm going to do it with a ruler and a knife. 
are you? Well, I'm not because my knife is actually at the other part of, of my craft room. So try to follow the line, love. Well, you know, you know, see, I did. It's not straight. It's not straight, but that's OK, guys, because I'm going to, you know, rough it up anyway. So it doesn't even need to be straight. So I'm going to do some more roughing up. Yeah. So this gentleman is going to go here. Yes, I'm going to have a signature here. Now, what other signatures were on here? John something, Sylvia. We did Sylvia. Ed. Ed. I'm going to do an Ed. Well, that's a rather big... Does Ed fit? Yeah. Ed. Brand something. Ed something. Now there's a lot of blue here, a little bit of black. Am I going to use this on here? No, I am not. I'm going to use the black. Does Ed fit on here? Ed does fit on here. Because there's also black here, so yep. There you go, Ed. Oh yes, looks fantastic. Looks cool. What else do we need? A number or code or number five. Filed. Let's put filed there. Yeah. Again, I am not feeling um, putting uh, a lot of ink on the stamp. Uh, because I want this to look sort of faded. See? Yeah, that's actually really, really cool. I should have put it sort of at an angle as well. Filed. And um, what else does it say? Postcard. Not postcard. Note. Catalog. Catalog. I'm just doing the black. Now we need numbers. Do we want some more blue numbers? I have blue. I have some blue. Let's see. This one. And this one. I think this is the better blue. Probably. To find out how I'm going to stamp something on the back. Let's see if this color probably even more. No, 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 it's this one. I have yet another one. No, love, no, no. Let's just also use this um, stamp. Yeah. We want something here. But what? Grab another one of these. Where's the other one? Disappeared. No, it hasn't. It's here. Oh, place post uh, placed place stamp here. I could do this here, right? Yes, what was the up and what was the down? This was up. Uh, blue or black? Oh, black. Yeah. Now we do need a stamp. Yeah. Um, I have this blue one that says two. Definitely. The, this will go here. Still want something here. 
Number four, 48 notes, copyright. Well, th this doesn't look like 1894. Oh yes, these small ones. Now I'm gonna have these small ones um, on another one that I'm making. Because there's lots of sort of handwriting on here, I'm thinking I want to do this. But honestly, I don't know if this is upside down or the right side up now. I'm just going to try it. That was upside down, so I need to flip it. I'm going to do a sort of second, gener second generation stamping. Oh, yes. It's smudgy and I love it. Because it just sort of mimics what was already on there. One more thing here. One more thing. found as found or style number there's some german on here that i actually don't really understand i'm gonna do as found in blue or black no in oh actually no black Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna glue him on here, here, and here. It needs another element to glue uh, to be glued on, and I'm going to put the eyelets in here and maybe even a tap. Let's just find out. Did a little bit of sort of uh, distressing all around, guys, with tea dye because I think this is sort of a newer one. Looking at the pictures, probably forties, fifties, maybe. Um, he's also a coffee drinker. Well, so I'm gonna put something on not not a lot i'm just lightly sort of brushing it just lightly there you go just just a tiny bit here and there yeah so i want to have him him on here the post stamp sort of behind here so let's do that one first would have been lovely if I know where my glue was. There, my desk is completely full because I've taken out so much stuff. And that's okay. It just, you know. I need to go look for everything now. And this goes here. And this goes here. I really want to see the two. Well, it's article is glue, so it's on now. <laughs> it will never, ever disappear again. I for sure want all the numbers here. Now, I've been thinking about the numbers. I have one of these. I know this company. This is like a company uh, for... Oh, I don't even know how to explain it in not Dutch. Das. If you have a lawsuit, uh, this they will sort of do it for free. Or an insurance for lawsuits. I think that's sort of it. But I wanted to have it here because then it puts a frame here around this six. Just cute. Um, I made a single tap, guys. Just a single one. So I did not double it up. Uh, what I do want is rough it up everywhere. Also, I'm thinking I'm just going to do it. I do not want to have this as a wheel tail tap. I'm just going to have it as a straight one. What? Yes, straight. Is that crooked? Yes! All sorts of crooked love. Why do you not take out a ruler, a knife, paper trimmer, or or what have you? That, this looks better. So I'm going to have this on here. On the top here, yeah. I was thinking to put in eyelets, but now I've taken up so much of the... No, it will still fit. It will still fit. And I'm going to have um, a small piece of this on. There you go. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. I don't I do not know if I'm going to do I'm just gonna do one eyelet. One. One will do. We'll have to do. These are tiny ones. Yep. Doesn't make any sense at all. I know, but I just really, really like it. I really like it. Does it need anything else? Splattering. Splattering. When in doubt, splatter. There was already sort of real splattering on the photograph itself. Yeah, maybe a little bit more roughing up. No, I think this is it. Cool, right? Love it. I have time for one more, guys. I'm going to do this fellow with the head. I already sort of distressed him. Um, I used the emery board on the corners to, you know, make it look even grungier. Even grungier. And then just used a brush, a tea dye or... You know, could have done it with a, a darker color as well. So I'm going to use this one. Um, however, it's a big one again. And I do want to cut it. But I want to use the whole piece. This is this needs a photograph. I'm sorry, this just needs a photograph on here. So I am going to have this here. However, I think we're going to cut it off. And then glue it there to make it into a side loading pocket. Yeah? <clears throat> and I do want this straight. So let me take my, take my paper trimmer. Because my cutting skills, especially today, guys, there we go. I want this line to be on here. Look at all the dates. Isn't that lovely? Yes, it's just a lovely piece. So I'm going to glue this here and then round corners. Yes, I'm going to round corners on this one for sure. Let's focus on this one first. This very dapper gentleman is going to be on here. It does need... There's already a number on here. I have this that says classified. Shall we do this? Or shall we do this somewhere else? Also have another number. Number. No, there's already an on here. I'm going to do classified. I'm just gonna. I tried to sort of age it up, rough it up a little bit. Didn't really work, but you know. Yes. And then this one here. In this one, I will have the eyelets. Yeah. Um, silver ones, gold ones. I took out the small gold ones. Do I still have them or did they completely disappear? Yeah. Uh, do we need something stamped? No, there's no more room for stamping, love. So I'm just going to glue it on. Lovely numbers, lovely dates. Yep. Then. You could put in four. I'm just going to put in two guys just on, on these corners. One here. And one here. Can we sort of age this up? This plastic, so I don't think it will hold anything. Let's see. Oh, uh, maybe a bit of ground espresso. Well, then you did the rest as well. <laughs> no, I do I need to do it all around. Oh, that's okay. that's okay. I already grunged it up, guys. I need to grunge it up a little bit more. Uh, however, I'm going to glue it on here. This is now a pocket. I'm going to round these corners. Yeah. Does it need a, uh, it needs a something here? Yeah. 
Yes. Well, I already like it. Yep. Identity card with a pocket. Well, never made one of those before. Yep. <clears throat> Does it need to have a um, stamp? Like, no, no, I'm going to have a stamp on the corner somewhere here. Okay, cool. Uh, before I glue this on, I am going to sort of distress using lots of ground espresso, apparently. Yes, on the, on the, cor on the edges as well. Some coffee dye, coffee stain, maybe. And then let's do some stamping and decorating. So I've sort of grunged up the other piece, folded it over, rounded corners, inked all over it, distressed it. So this is going to be a pocket, also rounded these corners. Yeah, I just need a little bit more inking because this will show up. Okay, so this is going to be a pocket. Yeah, then I had a piece left, already cut it off. From the, from the last card. So I made a sort of a tag. I'm going to put a tab on and have it as a card in here. Because, because why not? But I'm, I'm going to do first a background stamping here. And this is going to be on here as well. And my, do I? Well, it's a lovely piece. I'm for sure going to use it. Okay, first signature. Um, William Locke. William Locke. Over here. Does it fit? It does. Uh, I will use, um, well, no. I'm going to use black. Are you sure? Yes, because lots of black on here. Classified and all the writing. And the edges here. William Locke. Oh, it's just, it's, it's like it's supposed to be on here. Yeah, I really like it. Now there are two small stamps in here that I really like. I'm not even sure what it says. Orders by post promptly executed. Um, yep. It looks real. It does not look like, you know, I've made it. No. And then established. I don't think so. Um, <coughs> London? Piccadilly? London? Classified. It says classified. Put classified here. Could put on important. Because it is. Um, what, what was the other one? Filed identification, telegram, approved. Ooh, approved. I'm gonna do approved. Are you going to have it a little bit offset? Yeah, different color? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Approved. Well, Red looks like it's not approved, so am I? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it in red because red normally means sort of stop, not approved. <laughs> I'm going to have it approved. There you go. Oh, I'm happy I did it in the black. Yeah. There we go. Approved. Now we want small little numbers or a little bit larger numbers. There you go. Um, do we want this? No, I'm going to have it somewhere else. Or maybe on the corner. I'm going to have it underneath. Underneath here. And then sort of. Let's 
see up until here. So there, so it peeks out. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. Well, this is my favorite one. I can already tell you. I love it. Needs a, some, a small something. Yeah. I also have lots of this. So this says 12. No. New. Already have a this here, so it'd be small one, small, tiny one. Yes, small, tiny one. Yep. There, I will have a something there. Bum, bum. Another case file. I did, I did like the case file. But it will now only say case. Or file. Yes. It's the tiny details, guys. And, uh, well, let's put case here. <laughs> Not cast, case. Yeah. Okay. Are we gluing it? Oh, yes, we're gluing him on. There we go. stuff on the back didn't even realize there's stuff on the back oh look at that it's just the reverse side of this there wasn't anything on this back no okay i'm going to grunge this one up first you using this just needs to be a little bit darker i'm going to sort of rough it up a little bit just using my scissors guys there's going to be a tap there so no need for roughing up there i am rounding corners on the bottom am i no i am not i am just not ground espresso do we want oh Please put away this this uh, stamp top because it's tiny, tiny. We might lose it and I'll be sad because it's already my favorite. What was I saying? A coffee. Yeah. Let's uh, put some um, coffee on this one. Apparently lots of coffee. Ooh, look at all the grunchiness. Fantastic. And then some... around if you're a journaler you could journal on the back yeah if you want to i put this one here do we want a hidden photograph Who do we do we a sort of second identity I do have a photograph left, but it's a big one, I guess. I, I need a small one. Am I going to put in another, another card? I think I need to cut it off a little bit. A tiny bit. Scissors! I'm daring. I want it to be a little bit smaller. Yeah. So it looked... It looked it looks like it says approved. Then I need something here. This number we've already used on here. 
So I'm going to do registered. Yep. Oh, it says department. On the bottom. Let me get I oh I also wanted to use you wanted to use the number, love the number. Do you remember the number? Yes, I'm going to sort of rough it up, try to, you know, do this. And then this. Will it still fit in? I don't think I am. No, it, I don't like it. I don't like this. So I'm going to put it here. Department number 3224. I don't like it sticking out. We need something here. You could stamp something on it, but you won't be seeing it. No. I've tried it with uh, white lovies. Did not work for me. Yeah. A lot more on the top. Yes, yes. Does this need hardware? Maybe through it, just one. Maybe a brand. Yes. I don't think I'm going to add another photograph. No, let's not have um, a lot more persons on here. It does need a date. So I'm taking out dates from the past because, you know. Does this look like 1927 to you? Well, it looks like more like 1927 than 1772. So 1927 it is. Is this the right one? Yeah. Uh, 1925, 1927. Where's my card? No, honestly, guys, where's my card? Oh, it's underneath. <laughs> where's my card? Well, in front of your nose. There we go. Yeah. It is cool. It is cool. So, this is going to go in here. Like so. Love it. Well, guys, I managed to make three. I was aiming for four, but, you know, three is also a good result. Uh, I did change a little bit. Yes, I added um, this circular stamp a little bit on the photograph as well. It's still wet. He's a little bit wet behind the ear because he's... Because his ear is there. And I put uh, a tiny bit over there. And then on Sylvia's one. Um, I moved the clip to this side. Because I really didn't want to cover it up. And just stamped uh, something in it. Yeah. So we made Sylvia first. Sylvia White. Sylvia White. Yes. From Manchester University. Something. I just love it. There's all sorts going on. I really love the accent of the red on here. That is really cool. I might have, if I knew I was going to do red, I might have put a small piece of ephemera with something red, a label or something. 
there, but I didn't. So there. Yeah. Now I would use this probably as a journal card because there's lines on the back. This is upside down. For some reason, that's upside down. It wasn't my fault. Um, but use it as sort of a, a journal spot. So have this uh, in, a, in a journal, in a pocket. You know? And then add the lovely Ed that is a little bit wet behind his ears. Yes, Ed Brennan Murmurs. I don't know. Love it, guys. Yeah. Uh, just black and then with some blue accents. Love the clip. That is also a frame for the number six here. This is a stamp, but it looks like it's sort of pen. Yeah, so that is cool. Um, I would make this into a pocket because guess what? For some reason, I stamped the blue on the back of this one. I thought this was the scrap piece, but it wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't. But that's quite all right. Um, yeah. So I, I'll, I'll probably make this into a pocket. I'm going to have it on a page. I'm going to put glue here and here. And with side tuck or here, here and here. I have it as a top loading pocket. Love it. And then William. William Lock. Yeah. That is, I think this is my favorite. <laughs> it's really cool. Identify uh, an ID card with a pocket. Never seen it. And, and guys, make it into a pocket or... Also has all sorts of lovely on the back. Oh, it's actually from 1971. One. Yay, I found a date on this one. 1971. Yeah, really cool. It has it has a, a, a small card that you can also sort of journal on the back if you want to. Or put a photograph on. I love how the approved is on here. Just, you know, add a sort of a, a little bit off. Yeah. Oh, look at the small. This small stamp is probably going to be my favorite. It's, it's just like it's supposed to be there. And I think sort of trying to sort of rough this up uh, actually worked. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, that's my number one favorite project of the year. Mainly because um, these sort of represent the both of the Gunters and, and Gretchen. Because, honestly, those were my favorites. Uh, but all of these have ID cards in common. It's Sylvia, Ed and William. Yes, the band, a new band. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the series. I had a lot of fun revisiting all the lovely little projects. Um, I'll be back again with a small project this Monday. Guess what? It's Christmas. Yes, I'm going to have a, a small video up on um, for Christmas just to say hi and do a, a tiny little project. So I'm hoping you guys can join me then. If not, have a lovely Christmas, guys. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy each other. Yeah. Uh, and I'll see you then after Christmas. So enjoy your weekend. Until then. Bye guys.